morning, this is Brian. Today is Saturday, April 20th, 2019. I am in the Angeles National Forest. I'm here at Crystal Lake off of Highway 39 in the Crystal Lake Recreation Area. I'm actually by the lake here. Just kind of putzing around a little bit today. I'm trying to decide whether I want to climb the Islip Ridge Trail to Mount Islip, which would be the third time I've climbed Mount Islip, which is behind here. We're kind of in that deep bowl surrounded by the rugged ridges of Mount Islip. This is only the second time I've actually been to the lake area. Every time, almost every time I come here, I park at the the upper trailhead of Windy Gap and hike up Windy Gap trail up there. But here, oh great, now we got a big old chopper flying by. It's probably about 7:30 in the morning, so I'm gonna have to see what's going on with that. Maybe it's a search and rescue. I don't know. only the second time I've actually been down to the lake. First time I was down here is July of 2015. It's been almost four years. It's a nice little trail that goes along the outskirts of the lake. Um, I thought it'd be a little more filled after the great rainy season we had this year. 2018 and 2019, but regardless, it's still a very beautiful area surrounded by lots of big cone Douglas firs, some incense cedars, some sugar pines. I think both Jeffrey and Ponderosa pines are around here. First time I came here, I remember seeing seeing some fish here in the lake. So look carefully, down here, it's going to be very hard to see on camera, but I see it looks like two western toads uh, mating. And that's Anaxorus boreas. Kind of hard to see, and I don't want to ruin their privacy, but I kind of want to show the, show the viewers. We have a couple of western toads and Implexu right here. It's going to be very hard to see try to get closer but in kind of in the center of the screen to the right of the brush look like two uh, western toads are mating beautiful, beautiful area I usually don't see too many amphibians on my hikes here so it's a very peaceful place I very highly recommend coming to take a visit. It's kind of neat seeing western toads mating. The male's on top of the female. Female, female amphibians, especially toads and frogs, are usually larger than the males. And I very rarely see frogs and toads here. Let's see. I'm gonna go take the back loop. Let's maybe see if I can see some fish down here. It's cool, I didn't expect to see toads today. Hopefully the camera picked them up. There's another toad that just swam over into the brush underneath. I guess I picked a good time to come here. It's mating season for the, the toads. So I've already seen three toads so far. You won't see them very well on camera. At least the second or well, third toad I saw.
I was almost going to just hike right up the mountain. I'm glad I came to the lake today. I'm still deciding whether I want to hike it or if I just want to putz around and shoot nature videos all day. I'm kind of tempted just to do that because it's a very peaceful area. The western toads used to be known as Bufo Boreas and some people still consider them that to this day, but I believe the taxonomical reassignment to Anaxorus for our toads here in Southern California, or California in general, is kind of the new thing now. They used to be known as Bufo Boreas, but now they are Anaxorus Boreas. And I very rarely ever get to see amphibians. I see plenty of lizards, which are reptiles. I see lizards all the time. Occasionally see some snakes. But there are some young fish fries in here too. I'm not sure. My ichthyology is very, very, very minimal at best. I don't know, today I think, I don't know if I want to climb a mountain today. <laughs> No, normally so obsessed about making it to a summit that I lose sight of some of the more important things being out here and enjoying the, the sights and sounds of the mountains. If I'm careful, I might even find I might even find a garter snake. Garter snakes like being near water. I believe our type would be the two-stripe garter snake, Thamnophis hammondii. So, let's see. Let us see. But I was just really stoked that I just saw those western toads. I've only seen those a couple times in the wild. Once was in the Elfin Forest Recreational Reserve in near Escondido in San Diego County, and they were hopping across the trail. I see some movement over here. There's another toad, kind of swimming down to the bottom. I see a lot of pond snails too. There is a small toad in there. This must be mating season. They must be mating. I don't see strings of eggs yet, so I don't think they've completed their mating rituals yet. I'm hoping the camera picks up some of the action. Oh, this is cool. Like I said, I normally don't get to see a lot of amphibians, and I've never caught them on camera. I've caught lizards, like granite spiny lizards, western fence lizards, sagebrush lizards, side blotch lizards, and some stuff like that, but consider myself lucky to be able to hopefully get footage of the western toads. There seem to be quite a few toads in this uh, little beautiful little lake. So most of my videos focus on the logistics of climbing and plant life, but it's really cool when you get to see wildlife. There goes one. There's another western, a younger western toad. Uh, hope the camera picked that one out. Seem to be a bunch of toads around here, actually. I don't know. I might not bother climbing a mountain summit today. I'm just enjoying this too much. I mean, I rarely get to see toads, much less any type of amphibian. So used to seeing mostly lizards and stuff like that. And they're cool too. But when I, I grew up, I was really heavy on reptiles and amphibians. Snakes and lizards. So I guess I was kind of a kind of an amateur herpetologist. And that's somebody who studies reptiles and amphibians, both. I do see lots of young fish, and there's another toad. 
I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Maybe we'll see it. It's kind of poking its nose above the water right now. Right there. That's that's a western toad right there. Anaxurus boreas. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful animal. A lot of people will go, oh, frogs and toads, they give you warts. I've handled plenty of frogs and toads in my youth, especially frogs. And <laughs> never had any issues with warts. There's something kind of chilling in here somewhere. Pretty sure the, the water kind of gives you a not such a great perspective. But here's another toad poking up above the water right here. Look at that little beauty. That's a, another western toad right there. There seems to be a lot of toads in this water. So they don't really spend a lot of time hiking around water. So right there, a little western toad. Just kind of poked his head out, or her head, for a little while. Here's another one here. Oh, this is awesome. Last time I came here, it was summer, so they had already spawned and probably were just kind of, I don't know, I, I didn't see any toads last time, but here, look at this, look at this little beauty. Little western toads with their little white dorsal stripes right on their backs. This is cool, I'm loving this. And there goes a stellar jay. You can probably hear it chirping. They have blue bodies, blue tails, and then they have black heads. So yeah. This area is pretty cool. You got a population of western toads in there. There's a nice old pine right here. I think this is a Jeffrey. remember this from the last time I was here. This place is fun. <laughs> you don't have to climb the big mountains to have fun. That's what I gotta remind myself. Might still go for it later, I don't know. In fact, I don't think I really even care right now. Yeah, I'm sniffing the bark. I'm one of those. This is a very nice sized tree right here. It looks more like a ponderosa. It's hard to tell. Mostly smell resin. I believe this is a Pacific ponderosa right here. Penis ponderosa variety Pacifica. According to some taxonomists. According to others, Penis ponderosa subspecies benthamiana. Crystal Lake has quite a few ponderosas, and if you've driven to the area, those really big tall ones that have the needles like this, they're mostly ponderosas. And this one's a very mature specimen. It's got a nice set of bark plates right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful tree. Now you see why this area is so special. Get to hang out with toads, toads and trees. And who knows, there could be frogs, too. And over here, along this line here, it's predominantly big cone Douglas fir, but we do have sugar pines mixing in as well. So, beautiful area, man. Glad I came over here. I was almost just going to hike straight up uh, Isla Bridge Trail, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go all the way to the peak. But... We'll see what happens. If I shoot another, when I shoot another video later, the next video will probably determine whether, well, or it'll be where I determine whether I'm going to go or not. But I might just hang around here for a while. Maybe until it gets too crowded with people later. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little snippet of the beautiful San Gabriel's Crystal Lake. We're at an elevation of 5,500 feet. And I will see you on the next one.